Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 2nd November, we have witnessed the test firing of first anti-ballistic missile interceptor AD-1. As per DRDO chief, the maiden test of AD-1 has helped to intercept any missile of 500 km class. The interceptor AD-1 is being developed as phase 2 of India's ballistic missile defense system. In phase 1, the capability has been developed to destroy incoming missiles of 2000 km class. Apart from AD-1, one more missile will be developed as a part of BMD Phase 2 called AD-2. While AD-1 has been developed to intercept ballistic missiles in endo-atmospheric and lower exo-atmospheric region, the AD-2 will be capable of intercepting missiles at high exo-atmospheric region. The entire system of BMD Phase 2 will be ready by 2025. We have already reported about the deployment of PMD, which has started at various places in western, central and northern part of India. These deployments are being done keeping in mind the ballistic missile threat from Pakistan and mainland China. However, there are no news of deployment of PMD in southern part of India. Any ballistic missile originating either from Pakistan or China en route to South India will be destroyed by BMD system deployed across the western, central and northern India. However, what will happen if China uses its nuclear submarine to launch ballistic missiles? India is also operating two aircraft carriers which are vulnerable to hypersonic and ballistic missiles. China has developed YJ-21 missile which can be fired from its type 055 cruiser Stern VLS. The missile is expected to have a range between 1000 to 1500 km and can reach Mach 10 at the terminal stage. So how would Indian Navy safeguard its high-valued aircraft carriers from such missile threat? Now, In order to safeguard South India and the naval assets in the coastal region, Indian Navy has built most costliest and powerful ship. It is none other than surveillance ship INS Dhruv having displacement of 15,000 ton and built at a cost of Rs 1,500 crore. The ship is fitted with huge and powerful radars and sensor that is capable of tracking all missiles be it Agni Prime, Agni 5 or Agni 3 launched and tested by our armed forces. INS Dhruv is therefore capable of tracking adversaries ballistic missile much ahead in their course. It is also able to map ocean beds for research and detection of enemy submarine. Dhruv will also monitor seabed to detect spy satellites. The ship has been operating excellently from east coast of India. With the help of INS Dhruv, Navy is now able to keep an eye out in the entire region from Gulf of Aden to the South China Sea. The ship has been fitted with a primary X-band and a secondary S-band active electronically array AASA radar. In addition, it has a long open deck with ample space for installing multiple missile tracking antennas. It can scan various spectrums to monitor satellites of adversary that are watching over India. In simple term, the ship can provide ECG of Indian Ocean. INS Dhruv is India's answer to China's sea-based military doctrine. India is also building INS Anvesh, India's first floating missile test range or FTR. The sea trials of this ship has commenced in September 2021. Built by Cochin Shipyard and designed by DRDO, the nearly 9,000 ton ship will be used to test missiles up to a range of 1500 kilometers deep inside the Indian Ocean. It is equipped with electro-optical missile tracking, S-band radar tracking, telemetry devices, apart from a launch pad, control and mission control center for testing its phase 2 of ballistic missile defense interceptor missiles. In many ways, it is similar to the role performed by USS Norton Sound. The ship is also reportedly integrated with long-range multifunctional radar LRMFR developed by LIDE of DRDO, which is an equivalent of MF star radar of Israel. And you can see this radar integrated in almost all the capital warship of Indian Navy. INS Anvesh will speed up the futuristic missile project as it will provide a ready-made safety corridor 
without going through tedious exercise of issuing NOTAMs to ships and aircraft flying in the area, while DRDO's missile testing site at Buller Island of Odisha is always under the scanner of adversaries, the FTR will allow discrete testing of missiles and torpedoes 400 to 500 nautical miles into the sea. Navy and DRDO has planned to use Anvesh as a test and launch platform for naval AD-2 interceptor missiles, which means Navy will have AD-2 missile to defend itself from ballistic missile threat. It's also important to note that ISRO is also monitoring the space debris and can see the ballistic missile entering into the exo-atmosphere as well as into atmospheric region. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.